Version 12 is here, but you guys are probably wondering what this is. This is not my car. I haven't got version 12, but my buddy Paul is with me. He's in the driver's seat. I'm in the passenger seat. And we're going to cruise around kind of eight mile area, Detroit area. He told me to drop a bunch of pins. And this, like I said, is version 12 FSD Detroit's first impressions, if you want to say. So I don't know. Where should we go? Pick somewhere. Yep. He's good. He's just going to pick somewhere random. I'm going to put on my seatbelt just in case FSD launches us, but. And, and now, ladies and gentlemen, it is engaged. Not yet. All right. Now it's engaged. So when Paul creeped up here, he told me at the supercharger, it essentially literally came right to the point that he dropped it at, which is freaking incredible. And Paul, feel free to jump in any time and comment on I anything. Feel like I, I don't know if anybody else recognizes it as being new, but I haven't seen the five mile an hour speed limit sign before. The lowest one I've seen before this version was 15 miles an hour. Yeah, that is that is pretty new. Um, now it's picking up to 15. And then you'll also notice the auto max instead of the, the mm -hmm. set speed limit. So see how she does. So right off the bat, because Paul drove from work, um, this is my first time experiencing it. It feels a lot more calm and a lot more kind of, I wouldn't say nimble, but it's it's not as shaky. So let's see how it does this. It's got to get over into the far lane to turn left. So it's technically in the wrong lane, um, but it should be able to do it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. No, I'd... Oh, wow. That's impressive. It just starts to scoot up. No hesitation. You're not pushing the foot down there, are you, Paul, on the pedal? Okay, it's waiting for the traffic. I'm going to let it do as much as possible. Yep, no editing here. No touching the pedals. Let's, uh, let's see what's going to happen. There's no no turn on red here, right? No, you can turn on red, yep. I'm Let's see, physical. is it? There it goes. Okay. It was second guessing the car, and wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> it just went for it. Like, no hesitation. That is stupid impressive. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm with it. Oh. If you guys have watched my earlier, like, shorts that have gone viral and stuff like that, it would just go. A little bit of a slowdown here, even though it's a green light, but... Oh my god, dude. Like when it would try to do that in the past, Paul, you know what I'm talking about. Like it would it'll, like jump from one lane to another. Actually, yeah. the biggest short on my channel got 6.5 million views, and it was like that out in Sterling Heights. Holy crap, guys. Yeah, because it would only go <laughs> one lane at a time this time. Like like we've seen in other videos, it just straight diagonal all the way across. Wow. I'm like so jealous I don't have this right now in my car <laughs> it's coming, it's coming yeah it should be there was a big push today that's why my buddy paul got it so usually paul gets it then my buddy brian gets it and then i end up getting it um but no that's really it's really interesting that felt that felt like paul was driving <laughs> I, I haven't touched anything wow that's freaking incredible yeah and overall it just it feels really smooth that's yeah, really I haven't nice. Had any of the the jerky steering that I've had in the past so far, mm -hmm. it's made the wrong decisions, but it's never like sh you know really right quickly steered in you know the wrong direction. But man, I was that was just off impressive off the bat. Wow. We'll see what it does up here. Because yeah, these the the U turns and the Michigan lefts have been something that it's struggled with for for years now. So right. It can just easily jump across four lanes. Now, there's always been debate on my channel whether that's legal or not. So it did pick the first lane and then it went over. So some people would say, oh, my God, you know, it needs to uh, needs to use the next, like, turnaround. Uh, yeah, while legal, it's not the most comfortable or, you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know easy maneuver to do. But, right. you know, as long as there's no traffic, I can't be mad. Like, the full stop here is making me happy. Because before it would just like blow through these. Yeah, and it like feels way more natural. You remember from the past versions, like it would come up to this, it'll go rah, 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 back and forth yeah. and shake the whole car. Oh my God. That's not you, Paul? No. What? And I'm not trying to act right here. Oh my no. God. Oh, oh, speed hump, speed hump. Oh, <gasps> what no, is it going to do? <gasps> it freaking saw the speed hump. <gasps> Eight oh. Okay, that was, that was okay. I thought it was a little bit too much. That was no. that no, entrance no. and... It like started to go as soon as the car was oh, yeah. in front of us. It yeah. just went. Yeah, no. Holy no. crap. That's freaking impressive. And this feels 
really natural too it's not going too much to the like left and right and kind of weaving out it's just it's st- i don't know if, how you feel on your side but it, it kind of feels like it's staying to the right or left let's see how it is on this speed hump you picked a really good street by the way <laughs> auto wipers mm, okay i mean quick. yeah that was a little quick but it was okay i think it's also dark out okay now this one it's slowing down and the and the and the ever lovely auto oh, wipers oh oh okay that was okay i still would have gone a little bit slower but my car sits i think a little bit lower than yours since i have the plaid but yeah. wow that was let's see this stop sign oh my gosh that's really really nice holy crap uh it's still doing a little bit of that thing in the bit. past yeah a little bit but it, that's that's a, that's an improvement again it's dark. yeah yeah it's dark which is still impressive so another another speed bump Wow, this we came down the perfect street, man. This is sick. Gotta, gotta throw a couple of loops at it. You can't just take it down eight mile and call it. Right. God, I think you can still turn off the wipers. Yes, you can. Nice. And like have people have said online, and I've already been preaching in comments, arguing with people back and forth that this is the worst it's going to be. Yeah, I mean this is this is freaking I mean we're only six six and thir- minutes and thirty seconds into the video. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see how it does here. Unprotected. Traffic from the left and right. Nothing's happening. Okay. Mm. It's still... Cautious. It's cautious. Oh, it's. I mean, it, the, the view is obstructed to the right. So right. There's a vehicle to the right. 6 a.m. to th- no. 8.30. No, we're good. We can turn right here. That's legal. Wow. Yeah, that feels way better. Yeah, the speed bump control is way better than it was before. Yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah. Uh-uh. Looks like you missed that one. Ah, yep. one disengagement. Ah, I just got new control arms. We're good. <laughs> Get rid of the squeak, huh? Let's yeah. see how it does on this one. Okay, what what is it? Eh, I'm just going to plow this one. Too. Fuck it. <laughs> Why didn't it recognize those two? I feel like it did a little bit because the speed limit's 25 and it slowed down to 15, but right. that's, that's not our stop. Okay, it's still confusing itself with stuff like that. That's interesting. Hmm. But yeah, 15 is slower than 25, but no, a speed bump. Wow. That size. That's uh, very interesting. Oncoming car. Let's see how it handles this. That was good. And it didn't hit the tree that was uh, falling, tree branch that was falling down. So he's got an interesting situation here that we set up. So there goes my camera. <laughs> no, not in the middle of the video. All right, we're going to hold it here. Okay, back to the interesting situation. Um, it, it's got to turn right here, and it's kind of like got this weird thing. He dropped it at a weird uh, spot. So it says the auto uh, autopilot navigation complete, but let's see what it's, uh, what it's going to do. Okay interesting auto wipers and all wow it really came down to the actual spot like you where the pin is <coughs> oh wow and you can kind of feel it it's going off mm-hmm. to the right like we've seen on online videos okay oh, I, did. I, I touched the curb a little bit there with the front wheel you did yeah you felt it yeah. all right i want to send it on a little bit of a trip if you want to shut it off just for a second so we don't wind up in someone's yard <laughs> um all right we're gonna take a little trip we're gonna drop it somewhere in Birmingham. Yep, this thing's falling again. I think. All right, we'll do it in Michigan left up here. Sorry at the camera, guys. It's just when these uh, suction cups get a little bit. Um, oh, that. They don't that stick when up, it's cold. That pickup from a stop is much nicer. Yeah, that was a lot better. So we got traffic on seven mile here coming from the left and the right. Um, let's see, there's a car to the right. It's like going up to the creep wall, but it's like confidently going. Yeah, it's clear. Okay, okay, and that was good. A little bit wide on the turn, but I mean, that's okay. That's, I figured it was gonna go into the right lane anyway. Interesting. So it did pick the first lane legally like it was supposed to, then it went over. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
no slowdown at all on yellow, which is... Oh, yeah, that's my that's my biggest pet peeve, no slowdown, you're right. That was the biggest yeah, thing. Yeah, it, like, it hesitates a couple of times, and then it finally picks up that it's just a, a blinking. Right. Wow. I'm glad that's... that it's staying to the left here. Yeah, and I was just about to comment on that, that this is kind of like a wide lane, yeah. and it's like staying here. Well, it's... Now it's two lanes, but... Yeah, but, but before, it, it kind of like already knew that. Uh -huh. Which was really interesting. Wow. I'm like, I'm literally going to be checking my phone like 20 times a day for this update. This is like, you know, you remember me and you were part of like the first and second wave of the... Uh, very wobbly though. What, the wheel? Like, no, the, the Viz. Yeah, it's probably like that because it's dark out, so... Yeah, let's keep this, um, let's keep this like this because I know people like to look. So, but once, um... Once get to that Michigan left, um, for you guys in other states, you guys call this a turnaround. And in Michigan, we call it a Michigan left. It's literally unique to our state. And, like, I don't think they exist in any other states. A uh, little bit of phantom braking? No, this is that weird auto speed offset thing. Can Can you shut that off or no? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's just new autopilot settings. You got automatic set speed offset. Interesting. So what what is that supposed to exactly do? I heard about um, it, but... I guess it just kind of keeps you with the flow of traffic. So if people are going faster, it kind of sets it a little bit faster. Or if people are going a little, you know... I guess it, it's situational. Mm -hmm. Well, that's going to spark debate on a lot of channels, including mine, because what if the traffic is exceeding the speed limit by 5 miles per hour? Technically, legality-wise, it's illegal. And you got those people that are fighting in the comments saying that we need the self-driving to drive better than us. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, uh, I'll take you down 94 where it sets the automatic speed limit to 80 miles an hour. <laughs> because, uh, On the highway. <laughs> because everybody's doing 90. Okay, so this is that uh, right turn. It's gonna come complete stop. What are we looking at on the left? Hopefully it'll go. Hopefully it'll go wide here. We're about to get the green. Yep. So let's see. Moment of truth. I'm uh, uh, picking. Okay. It's just going for it. There's no like left and right jerkiness nope. in the wheel. Nope. It's it's just going for it. Wow. That was that was good. I mean, I would have been going a little bit quicker. But I mean, I do drive a plaid, so that's a different conversation. <laughs> so, no, that was, uh, and these and, stops and come ups and again, feel natural. This, this is way better than it used to be. Let's see if it'll complete the turn. Yep. Stop like you're supposed to. Wait. Now it's kind of hanging out. There's no traffic. I don't know. That's strange. Eh, we're going to push it through a little bit. Yeah, so he's going to tap the accelerator just to go. Oh, that's a little oh, jerky. A little bit of jerkiness there. But, picked itself up, accelerating, it's going. So yeah, it's interesting. There's nobody around us right now. And this Automax thing that he was talking about, you know, obviously it's going 38 and the speed limit's now 40. So it picked up, but before it was 30. So now it's 45. Yeah, it's still 40. I don't know where it got the 45 from. <laughs> yeah, but now it's like driving under the speed limit. And one thing that I noticed that when we're on this side, a lot of times in Troy and Sterling Heights when I'm driving out there, the lights that are facing this way that have a turn on like a Michigan turnaround, if you're in this lane or the next lane over, it'll like stop right in traffic for that light. And it's huh. thinking that's an intersection. So it's interesting that it didn't stop for that light that was there to the left, which is really, really good. I'm gonna have to come back and do these areas when I get it in the daytime so it's more light out. But I just wanted to get this piece of content out um, so you guys can kind of watch it and just get kind of first impressions. Unfortunately, Paul just got off of work, so he's not gonna be able to go do my downtown route because that's quite a lot. But yeah, once we get to this uh, destination, that'll be kind of the first impressions. But we still got 2.3 miles. This is kind of a straight shot. And you also, you can't even change anything with the auto max. So like the, the scroll wheel, <laughs> usually you can change the speed, but now it just says auto max. It doesn't change anything. Do you think then HTSA is coming after Tesla for that now? or Because um, remember, I, you could go like 20 over on the street with FSD on. No, because I still think you can if you don't have the auto speed offset set. Interesting. So let's see. Okay, so it's back. Yeah. So there you go. 
Yeah, but it's not. You see, it's chilling at 42, and you bumped it up to 70. That is true. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm surprised because usually it would say something like limiting speed limit for road type. Yep, that's what I or get. Something along those lines. Let's see how it does without the automatic speed offset. Okay, picking up to 35 before the speed limit sign. That's good. So far, it seems to be doing better without the auto thing. Yeah, it's a lot more stable. Yeah, and that makes sense because I think that auto thing is a new feature, so... Hmm. I feel like the lane changes are a little smoother, too. Yeah, try that out since we have, like, a long stretch of road. Nice. Yeah, that, feel, that felt really good. Do it one more time back. Nice. Nice. I like it. Yeah, I mean, overall, so far, it feels like a little bit of an improvement. There is still a couple scenarios with old behavior, but it seems it seems to be redefined. It feels more confident. feels more, like I said, redefined, better. I can definitely feel it. And as, as per usual, Elon has said that there will be improvements rolling out every two weeks. Yeah, that makes sense. There should be improvements every two weeks. I saw that. I saw that post on X as well. So that's that's good. As they improve their compute, right? They should be able to train better. Here, because that's a little bit far. Let's just kick this into Royal Oak so we're closer. I'm trying to see Royal Oak, so we don't gotta all go away all the way to Birmingham. Interesting. We knocked out the navigation, and it's picking a random... Ah, damn it. I don't know if it's picking random, but it does do, like, the stay out of the merge lane thing. Like, it'll do that on the... Like it used too. to do back yeah. in the day, right? <laughs> Let's pick this route. Yeah, that... Wow. That stop was really good. Just a little bit at the end, it kind of does, like, a quicker, like, tap of the brake, but yeah. that's... That's okay. It feels way more natural when it stops. Like my version, like sometimes it's good, and then other times it's just like it comes like, ugh, like almost forgets, you know, like a last, like a red red light at the last minute, you know. Yeah. I feel like the acceleration's like a little bit more. Yeah, the acceleration kind of feels more aggressive. Not to the point where you, know, yeah, exactly. The it, way I would drive. Yeah, it's just like green and, you know, you're not gunning it like in my plaid or something, you know, you just, it's green and you go, you don't wait, you just pick up good speed so you can keep traffic behind you going. Again, streets aren't really jam-packed, just wanted to get a good feel of how everything feels, you know, because I should be getting this soon so I could do my downtown run. Yeah, that's what I want to see it more, like downtown scenarios, lots of traffic people outside like usually a lot of my videos yeah downtown detroit is great like especially when there's like shows going on yep maybe there'll be some people out in royal oak right now because there's always bars and stuff there so not that we're going to use drunk people as our guinea pigs but <laughs> but we are yeah yeah that felt that lane change felt really good too Okay, so it should be going right here. Oh, no, nope, never mind. Past the freeway, yeah, yeah, past the freeway. Okay, even better. That's like a more densely packed area. At first I thought I was messing up there, but then I realized it's just we're going over a hump, so that's how it feels. Wow, that was really good. Okay, yeah, no, that was That was fantastic. That was smooth. I thought this was the entrance and then I realized it was up here. I always forget about this no, here in Royal Oak. Drives better than I would. Wow. That's good. Nice little side thing. Not going into bike lanes. Nice. Nice. Yeah, it's avoiding the bike lanes. That's why I picked uh, downtown Royal Oak. 
Um, so I'm going to knock out of this. Now that we're in Royal Oak, I'm going to start picking like random places. I want to start doing a few turns here before we end the video. Zigzagging around a little bit. Yep. So let's pick that route. Yeah. All right, Lincoln, it is. Track a little bit. Yeah, so, so far it feels good. Someone's out with their Hummer EV. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that looks like a customer car. I can't believe I built those things. <laughs> yeah, for those uh you wondering, this part of the conversation. Oh, yeah, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm uh, going to Canada now, so. You're going to Canada? Yeah. Really? That's interesting. You're going to work over there? Let's see how this does. All right, so that is... Wow. Way over into the turn line. Okay. That, that was good. I would have done the same thing. And it's legal, too. All right, let's see if we do the turn on right here. Okay. Uh, it's go going for it. A little creeper action. Yeah. Visibility's good. Nice. Good. I like it. Yeah, it's kind of a... It's kind of like aggressive in the turns when it accelerates but it's not like something that's like uncomfortable you know yeah it's not too much now the one thing i'm picking up with these red lights now that we're picking up a lot more is when you get down to like the three to two miles per hour i feel that that little like a little extra break there to actually come to a complete stop so that that's the only thing i feel that's kind of like eh but that's just me being over picky but yeah, the acceleration is just like kind of go. It's almost like, you know, when your friend gives you your first ride in a Tesla, you punch it. You're like, uh, oh, it catches you off guard. It's interesting. I have railroad tracks here. I'm stopping for the railroad tracks, slowing down. Slow down. Okay. Got a left turn here. I got to come do some videos in Royal Oak here too during the day. There's a lot of people, bike, people on bikes and walking around. That was good. Wow. A little slow. That's okay. I think you're supposed to do turns like 10, 15 miles per hour legally anyway. Because that's the thing that the internet is fighting about right now. Because the system is getting so much better at V12. I'm watching a lot of the other videos from all the other creators. And people are just arguing, oh, it's got to do this, it's got to do that. A little bit of a sun phantom break there. Oh, that, yeah, that was, it, it wasn't like hard though. It was kind of. It's because it was just random. It felt like it was slowing down for a speed bump that wasn't there. Right. You know. That's interesting. Well, like I said earlier in the video, this is the worst it's going to be. So if, if they can just fix a couple more quirks that I have, you know what I mean? So far, it just, like I said, the biggest quirk is getting over to that Michigan left turn lane. Everybody drives like that. Everybody says you got to pick the first lane and then pass that turnaround. But we just don't do that here in Michigan. We, we don't get tickets for that here. Like it's, I get that it's the law, but no one's going to give you a ticket for that. The cops kind of expect you to do that. <laughs> Oh, they built this area up here. That was a good stop. Oh, it's just going. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's clear. That was a good I stop and go. It knows it's a four-way stop. The, where's the four-way stop at? Oh, that over one, there. Yeah, the last mm. intersection that we just passed through. That's a good. Way. That's a good question. Oh wow, they built these building ups here. Oh, that's what they did. They eliminated all that, so you can see the city center. Okay, yeah, it just goes. <laughs> oh, this is okay. This, uh, uh, Okay, I dropped it here on a kind of a back alleyway. And people do walk through here, but again, it's just dead in Royal Oak, so. Okay, let's see what it's going to do. Is it going to pull over to the left or to the right? It's kind of second guessing. It's uh, looking like right. Oh, wow, it's pulling over to the right. Like I said, look at it. It's like nosing right up. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Like literally almost hitting this freaking piece of wood. Well, you're good, though. All right, go ahead and shut off the system so it doesn't fly yeah. off on us. So one more pin to try this out generally curious let's um so we're in the city of royal oak which is like metro detroit so let's uh let's give it some more turns i like that one whenever you're ready man go ahead make the thing fly wow that's good and like a good acceleration off and it's like oh next next robo taxi yeah, it, it, it used to be a little glitchy coming off curbs like that but i just love the pullover action because if um, someone was behind us be like oh these guys are stopping they're getting out you know getting some food whatever yeah this is um it's kind of blocked from the sign a little bit, even though obviously all the medical people aren't here. But yeah, that's pretty uh, pretty darn good. Okay, it's gonna take a couple turns here. I was just curious to see what it's gonna do. So this is only a two-way control. Yep, the traffic from left and right does not stop, but there's no traffic, so handled it good. 
And I know you guys want to see like a lot more like, you know, scenarios. Like I said, version 12 is going to come to my car and we're going to during the day when there's a lot more people. I'm just, I'm curious to see how the system reacts from a general perspective. Yeah, I mean, and it's so far, I can see what, it, what the hype is about. It's definitely improved. This is a big step forward for the company in self-driving. And it realized it was in the wrong turn lane and fixed itself. That's good because sometimes as humans, we make that mistake and it figures stuff out. I like it. It goes up to that creep wall and then it doesn't like go up and then like slam on the brakes. See what I mean? Uh, right, right near a cop. That's great. Yeah, he's not even looking at us. But uh, yeah, that was a yellow lane. Not supposed to be there. It corrected itself. It corrected, took, it yeah. It took it a second, but yeah, like what I said before we made the turn. As long as it's figuring stuff out, which it's just so smoothly going to these proper turn lanes, by the way. Like it's it's figuring it out. Wow. But the real test is going to be with traffic and people. Uh -huh. That's going to be the fun part because everybody talks about California. I was going to catch this yellow light. Good. A little bit, little bit of like, like, a, oh my God, what happened? But um, yeah, everybody talks about California and Texas. Oh my God, the videos are awesome. The real test is in places like Michigan where the engineers don't live. That's always the true test. It is like literally dead around here. Usually this part of Metro Detroit is pretty lively. They got a lot of bars and a lot of arts and crafts and stores and stuff. So I it sees the stop up there. Is it is it there? Yeah, it says stop on the screen, but on the street, there's it like... It does seem to be picking up symbols a lot better, like the, mm -hmm. the arrows and some of the text, like uh, back there, some we had some uh, some railroad... Oh, look, uh, another Tesla. Markings. I wonder if he's on beta. He's doing the same thing we are. Yeah, he's That's from another... Beta. What's up? <laughs> yeah, he's probably from another state. It looks like he's got the front plate. But yeah, why are we doing 15 and 25? true 13 and a 25 <laughs> i don't i don't know why it's like that but and we're not even set at automatic yeah there's that oh he, he u-turned who the tesla guy uh-huh uh -uh. what are we doing uh i mean this is the destination oh is it yeah if you want to push push through it so it doesn't stop oh energy graph All right, I'm just gonna pick one destination that's a little bit towards, you know, where Paul needs to drop me off, and that's gonna be it. Um, but let's pick, I like that one. It looks full of turns. Look, people walking on the street. It sucks they're not walking in front of us, so we can test a little bit. Jump out in front. Yeah, Promise jump out in front. To. Too hard. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Left, right, left, right, left, left, right. Nice. I like that it's signal. I feel like it's signaling sooner. Yeah, that's what I noticed too. I wanted to say earlier, it's signaling really well. Let's see how it handles this. Nice. It doesn't even phase all the cars next to it. It's being cautious, but it's like also going. It's not like being like a grandma, like, oh, am I going to hit it on the right or left? Like, nope, I got this. No. That was not a speed bump. That was just crappy road. <laughs> Welcome to Detroit. Yeah. Yeah, it's. It goes up to that creep wall, double checks here. I mean, but that, that motion is a lot better. And it like literally just doesn't even confuse itself with the biking lanes. Yep. Just goes. But yeah, see bike symbols, turn symbols. Yeah, it's picking all of that up really nicely. Hmm. So it's got to turn down this next street. All right, bus coming, going in. Uh -huh. That's all right. It's getting nervous around the bus. Yeah. But it, it's kind of like, eh, let me just wait here till it passes a little bit more and then it goes. Look at that. Just boom. Nice. Very nice. I like it. All right. We gotta turn and then we gotta go like kind of cross really quick or is it straight? No, left and then we gotta go quickly. I mean, it's just a two lane road, so we'll be all right. 
it does like to take its time a little bit when it creeps but like once it sees it goes it just it commits oh it went to the proper lane this time uh this is not the pro yeah unfortunately this is oh that's a curb that's a curb that's a curb it what is it gonna do ah disengagement wow can't believe it didn't see that curb That's all right. Cause that, okay, yeah, we're right there. Yeah, we're right there, so. That was close. So that's two disengagements the whole time. Yeah, think, so. Weren't they both because of parking lanes? Uh, one was because of uh, the speed bump. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah for I earlier. let it go anyway. That's fine. Well, guys, I just wanted to post this video. We're at 30 minutes. Um, I'll be doing one soon in a bunch of cities since this is pure AI running it. And again, something to keep in mind, even though we had two disengagements, this is the worst it's ever going to be. The training and the, you know, all the improvements are going to be a lot quicker now with the, you know, fleet from the data and from the, I said that wrong, data from the fleet. <laughs> it's almost, you know, it's almost 1 a.m. So thanks for tuning into Detroit Tesla. I'll catch you guys in the next video.